Hi, I'm Mr. O Mingyo. Okay, I'm going to talk about conduction in non metals and conduct conduction in metals. Okay, let's look at the diagram on the left. Okay, I have a piece of non metal that is heated over a flame here. So the particles that is directly above the flame is going to take in the heat energy represented by the red marker in. Okay, after it takes in the heat energy, it will vibrate vigorously and it will collect with the neighboring particles. And the, in the process of collision, it's going to pass on the thermal energy to the neighboring particles. And this process will repeat and the energy will be passed on to the next particles until the end of the object. Okay, this is how, this is how the energy is being, is being transferred in a non-metal through conduction. And this process we call it molecular vibration okay now let's look at the case in metals how does conduction occurs okay metals has the same particles arrangement as non matter so in this case the molecular vibration will still take place so what is the difference is that matter has got three electrons in it Okay, so these three electrons are, are moving very fast. So as they are heated up by the flame, they will gain energy. They will gain energy as indicated by, by the red ink. And they will collect with, with the particles at the colder region. And in this process, they pass on their kinetic energy to the particles and heat them up. Okay. And this process we call it the free electrons diffusion. Okay, this process is a much faster process as compared to molecular vibration, and that explains why metals are good conductor of heat. And for non metals, right, because they only conduct heat through molecular vibration, so it's not as effective as in metals. And that explains why they are poor conductor of heat. And sometimes you also call them insulator.